Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is the square root of x plus the square root of minus x, this is equal to 2. So what is the value of x? Now solution here, solution, now we can, we have square root of x plus square root of minus x, this is equal to 2. So the first step here, Let's take this square root of minus x on the right hand side so that here we'll have square root of x. This is equal to 2 subtract square root of minus x. The next step here, let's square both signs here. Let's square both signs so that now here we eliminate the square root sign so that here we have x is equal to now 2 subtract square root of minus x squared. This is in the form of a minus b squared, which we can express as a squared, subtract 2ab plus b squared. Applying this algebraic identity, then here we'll have x is equal to, now this is 2 squared, subtract 2 times 2 times square root of minus x, then plus here we have square root of minus x squared. The next step here, we have x is equal to 2 squared, this is 4, then 2 times 2, this is 4, square root of minus x. Then we have here, we simplify here, we eliminate the square root sign, so this is plus into the bracket minus x. So you will have x is equal to 4 minus 4 square root of minus x plus times minus. This is minus x. Let's take this minus x on the left hand side so that you will have x plus x. This is equal to 4 subtract 4 square root of minus x. Now here x plus x, this is 2x, this is equal to 4 minus 4, square root of minus x. Now we can factor out 2 here, so that you will have 2 minus 2, square root of minus x. So we divide both signs here by 2, so that now the value of x here is equal to 2 subtract 2, then square root of minus x. The next step here, the next step, we can take 2 on the left hand side so that it will have x minus 2. This is equal to minus 2 square root of minus x. Let's write this as minus 2 square root of minus x. This is equal to 2 sub, that is x. So here you have x minus 2, this is equal to negative 2 square root of minus x. We can write this as minus 2 square root of minus x, this is equal to x minus 2. So the next step here, let's square both sides. Let's square both sides. So that here, minus 2 squared, this is 4. Then square root of minus x squared, this means we eliminate the square root side. So you will have minus x, this is equal to x minus 2 squared, this is equal to x squared, subtract 4x plus 4. Here we have 4 times minus x, this is minus 4x, this is equal to x squared, subtract 4x, then plus 4. 4x and 4x here simplifies, so that we'll have x squared, plus 4, this is equal to 0. Now, we can write this as x squared plus 2 to power 2, this is equal to 0. We can express 4 as 2 to power 2. Now, x squared plus 2 to power 2, this is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus b i, then a minus b i. Applying this identity, then here we have that x to power 2 plus 2 to power 2. This can be expressed as x 
plus 2i. Then here we have x minus 2i. This is equal to 0. This implies that we have two parts here. We have x plus 2i. This is equal to 0. And the second part here we have x minus 2i. This is equal to 0. Therefore here we have the first value of x that is x1 is equal to minus 2i. And here we have x2 equal to 2i. So now here we have that x is equal to minus 2i or x is equal to 2i. So this is the values of x that we have. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Let's verify as follows. Now let's verify that x which is equal to minus 2i or x which is 2i satisfies the equation. Now if you recall here, we end that the square root of x plus the square root of minus x, this should give us a value of 2. Let's substitute the first value of x which is minus 2i. So here we'll have the square root of minus 2i plus the square root of minus minus 2i. This should, this should give us a value of 2. So the next step here, let's square both signs. Let's square both signs here. Let's square both signs here. So that here, this is actually in the form of a plus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Applying this algebraic identity, here we'll have square root of minus 2i squared plus we have here 2 multiplied by square root of minus 2i multiplied by, now this is minus times minus here, so this is the square root of 2i then plus square root of, this is now 2i squared, this should give us a value of 2 squared, which is equal to 4. This is equal to 4. The next step here, the square root of minus 2i squared, we eliminate the square root sign, so here we have minus 2i plus, now here we have 2 multiplied by, now we have, now here we have minus 2i plus, now here you have 2, we have minus 2 times this 2, which is minus 4, multiplied by i times i, this is i squared, then plus, here we have square root of 2i squared, we eliminate the square root sign, so plus 2i, this should give us a value of 4. The next step here, we have minus 2i plus 2i, this simplifies, so here you have 2 multiplied by, now here we have i squared, this is equal to minus 1. So we have minus 4 times minus 1. This should give us a value of 4. So here we have 2 times. Now this is the square root of negative 4 times minus 1. This is 4. This should give us a value of 4. Now in this case, square root of 4, this is actually equal to 2. So this is 2 times 2. And this should give us a value of 4. And it's true that 2 times 2, this is 4, which is equal to 4. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and that proves that that is the first value of x that is minus 2i satisfies the equation let's check 2i so here you have square root of x that is square root of 2i plus square root of this is minus 2i this should give us a value of 2 so again, we square both signs here. Let's square both signs so that here we'll have square root of 2i squared plus here we have 2 times square root of 2i multiplied by square root of minus 2i then plus square root of minus 2i squared. This is equal to 4. 
This is 2 squared, which is equal to 4. The next step here, square root of 2i squared, this is 2i plus, now here we have 2 times, now we have the square root of, this is 2 times minus 2, this is minus 4, multiplied by i times i, this is i squared, then plus, we have the square root of minus 2i, so we eliminate the square root sign, plus times minus, this is actually minus 2i, this should give us a value of 4. So you have 2i plus 2 times, now this is the square root of minus 4 times i squared, this is minus 1, then minus 2i, this should give us a value of 4. Minus 2i, min, uh, 2i minus 2i, this simplifies. Then we have 2 times square root of 4. This is equal to 4. So here is square root of 4, this is 2. So we have 2 times 2, and this is equal to 4. So 2 times 2, this is 4, which is equal to 4. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, and that implies that the values of x, which is 2i, negative 2i, and 2i satisfies the equation. So kindly refer the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.